In this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need in order to get emails for your email marketing business. So maybe you are just getting started with affiliate marketing or some other type of uh, make money online business. You could be uh, starting a website, you could be selling physical or even digital products, and you realize that you need emails. Uh, but one of the things that a lot of people don't tell you is how to get those emails. And so in this video, as I mentioned, I'm actually going to help you out with that. In reality, it's a very, very simple, easy process in theory, but it's kind of difficult in execution. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about each one of those steps. Do you want to quit the nine to five grind? If you do, be sure to subscribe to this channel where I create YouTube videos to show you how to make money online. This channel is all about helping you do what you want to do, whether it's family, friends, fun, or vacation, instead of things that you may not enjoy, like working that nine to five. Before I forget, if you're looking to get on the fast track as a successful affiliate marketer, be sure to check out alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. It's considered the secret weapon for many of today's top affiliate marketers. Check it out. Once again, it's alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. There's also a link in the description below. So what you need to do, and this is going to be a brief overview. What you need to do is you need to have some sort of content, which I'll discuss more in depth. You need to get that content to a landing page. And then usually on that landing page, you are enticing that customer, potential customer to buy the product or service. Once you get them to the, once you get them to the landing page, the next step is to get that customer's email address, which is obviously the point of this video. But what you need to do in 90% of the cases is you need to entice that customer or potential customer to enter their email. And then at that point, that's where you, that's where something called a lead magnet comes in. That lead, ma that lead magnet is going to be a free gift that you give to the customer in exchange for their email address. Once you get that email address and you, you give them that lead magnet, you take them to a thank you page. Now the thank you page is going to be a page where you try and sell them and get them to click on the link and buy the product or service right away. That's also where you're going to either email them their, uh, their lead magnet, their free gift, or you can have them download it right there on that page. So now that we have talked about the brief overview, again, it's content, it's a landing page with a lead magnet, and then a thank you page. Now let's talk about each one of those sections more in depth. When you think about content, and content can be both, the content can be either free or paid. And when you think about paid methods, you think about solo ads. And again, this can go for if you are uh, selling a digital product or service, if you're doing affiliate marketing, which is recommending a product or service based on your experience, or if you are selling I don't know, a physical product that you personally have in stock. It could also work for dropshipping as well. But you are creating a piece of paid content. Uh, it can be a video for like video marketing. It can be, um, it could be a solo ad. Basically, a so solo ad is where you're borrowing someone else's email list, getting them to opt into your email list so you can follow up with email marketing. Um, it can be, it could even really be a radio ad. Uh, it doesn't matter. Paid ad is basically some sort of content that you pay for in exchange for um, an opportunity to market to a crowd that you don't necessarily have access to. The other option is with free content. Now free content can be social media posts. So let's say you go on Twitter and you post and you create tweets around make money online or, or lose weight or whatever it is. You use the associated hashtag, hashtags and then you send people to the, your landing page or you can even have a link to your landing page in your bio and even in your pinned tweet. You can use podcasting. Uh, podcasting is audio or spoken content. Again, the, the theory is the same where you tell them, hey, uh, go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start in order to learn a little bit more about whatever it is that you are promoting. Uh, and the same goes for video marketing. With video marketing, you can use YouTube, you could use um, you can use Facebook pages, Facebook groups. Uh, really, it's the the content can is the same regardless if it's free or paid. Really, the difference between the two is the amount of effort that you're going to put in. With paid content, uh, you don't have to put in as much effort because you are putting in money. With free content, usually you have to put in a little bit more effort. You have to do a little bit of keyword research. You have to create a lot of content or an ecosystem of content, and then you have to go out and find your target market. Um, with paid you don't really have to do those things. So now that we have talked a little bit about creating the content, the next is the call to action. You wanna make sure that you have something along the lines of, click here to learn a little bit more about uh, the number one affiliate site in the world, or click here to uh, get your free gift. Um, you wanna make sure that you have something that entices your reader, your audience to take the action that you want them to take. If you don't have a button or a link 
they're not going to know what to do. You have to tell your customers what to do or else they won't do it. What I use is a service called Funnel Scripts and Funnel Scripts has a, a list of call to actions that you can use to get people to take the action that you want them to take. So that's step number two. Step number one is create the content. Step number two is a call to action within your content. Once they click the link, they'll go to a landing page. Now this landing page is going to contain a few different items. It's going to contain a, a headline, a headline, and a, the, the first part is an engaging headline. So you're gonna have some large font, um, getting them, again, enticing them to take the action you want them to take. Then you're going to have maybe a smaller subheading, uh, again, with more information or more um, interest generating, hook generating content. Then you're going to have a box for your email to have them enter in their email address and then a button for them to submit. Now what I like to use, and I'll put it on the screen here, I like to use ClickFunnels because it's very easy to do. Um, I have a number of videos where I've created funnels for you. Uh, so definitely take a look at uh, ClickFunnels. There's also a two week free trial down in the description if you want to take a look and give it a test run. But the cool thing with ClickFunnels is you can create a landing page. I actually have a number of templates for you that you can take advantage of to quickly get up and running. So what I use to just to, to kind of um, give you an idea of how I do this. The first thing that I do when I am after I've, after I've created my content for me, it's mostly free content and I am on the step of creating a landing page, I'll go over to a funnel scripts and I'll get a, like an, a, it's called a killer headline. That killer headline I'll put in the heading and even in the subheading, then maybe I'll add an image. Most times I won't. Uh, after that, I'll have, um, I'll have a, a box for them to enter in their email address and then a call to action script that I also get from uh, funnel scripts. Now you don't have to use funnel scripts. I like to do it because it makes my life a lot easier. I can save a lot of time, energy, and effort by just putting in the information that I know into the script and it spits out a number of different ideas. And so that is uh, step two. Well, that, that's step three, the lead, uh, that's step two, the, the, the landing page. Um, you also want to include on the landing page, um, Click here to get your free guide in email marketing or whatever it is that you're that you're giving away. Now it's key that you keep your landing page uh, short and relatively simple. Just think that the more information that is on the screen, the more distracting it can be. Um, in reality, humans people have a very short attention span, and if you have a lot of stuff on your page or you're making them scroll, oftentimes they're going to get distracted with maybe a, a notification if they're on their cell phone or if they've got kids like I do, uh, their kids might start screaming. So you want to make sure that it's short, simple, you get your point across and you get their email address. Once you click submit, they go to the next page is a thank you page. All right. So once they get to the thank you page, um, a few things are going to happen. You're going to have a big thank you or congratulations or something along those lines and you're going to have either text or video video works a little bit better because it's more engaging and the video is going to say hey thank you for opting in or thank you for leaving your email address click the button below in order to get your free gift um, the free gift is what you entice them with on the previous page and then you're going to spend a couple minutes promoting whatever product or service that you are promoting so for example uh, if you go to my landing page and you enter your email address right here you'll get you'll be taken to legendary marketer i'll say thank you very much for opting into my email address uh, if you mind if you don't mind i'm going to spend a couple minutes telling you about the benefits of legendary marketer and the business builder challenge and then i'll go into uh, why i think it's a good opportunity to start a business then i'll say hey click the link below in order to get started. If you get started today, you'll also have access to these free bonuses that I have below. And then if they click the link and they buy the product, that's when you actually get a get a initial sale. But for the purposes of this video, you just wanna collect emails for email marketing and that's really it. You create content, whether that's free or paid, you have a call to action, which is critical in the free or paid content. You send them to a landing page, you entice them even more with a lead magnet, and a, a very simple, basic, plain landing page. They enter in their information, you get their email. Then the other side of that, once you get all of that taken care of, the, the front side, we'll call it the back side, is an autoresponder and a follow-up email sequence. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have an email sequence where you are enticing them to open up your emails. Um, 
Email marketing is crucial. Obviously, you know that you're on this page. Email marketing can convert at two or three times the rate as the other marketing types out there. So it's very important that you have a very engaging title and a first couple sentences because most people are looking at their emails on their phones and they can see the first couple sentences. And if you can't hook them in, if you can't grab their attention with the headline and the first couple sentences, you won't have a customer. So if you are interested in learning how to grow a successful online business, click the first link in the description. I do have a few free bonuses for you to take advantage of if you click the link and enter your email address. So make sure you take advantage of that today. Once again, my name is Alston. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Before I forget, I do want to inform you that some of the links that you will see in your description are affiliate links and I do and can receive a commission if you click on those links and purchase a product.